Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Each tough day brings us closer to our goal. Let's hold on to that. I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. I know first things first is we've got to make sure that we know that we've got a goal or we know what our goal is in life. Now, of course, that's different for every single person. That could be that you're just it's life is really really difficult for you at the moment and you're just getting from one end of the month to the other it could be something as simple as just that without anything going wrong perhaps you're in one of those times where whatever you touch whatever you do it doesn't quite work right i've been there and unfortunately it is a really dark horrible time but you know what you do get through it you do get through it and these things do make us stronger and i truly do believe that it's important to hold on to that goal of what we are trying to achieve, what we're trying to chase in this life. Some of us, of course, I know times are really, really tough across many parts of the world at the moment, where the cost of living increasing in one thing or another, and it just generally makes life really tough and difficult and downright miserable sometimes. You know what? It's really, really sad to see that our government so inexplicitly does not see what everybody else can see around us. Life is hard for a lot of people at the moment, but it's important to hold on to that end goal. Now, that could be that you're booking yourself a holiday for a couple of months down the road or perhaps even next summer, but it's important to have an end goal because I find that keeps us healthy. That keeps our mental stimulation healthy. That keeps us on the right path of life, I think. Because then you've got that goal, you've got that kind of measure of if you have a bad day or if you have a really low time, you've still got that one thing to look forward to. Perhaps it's not necessarily something as lavish as a trip. It could be perhaps once a month, booking yourself, uh, all of your family together, all of your close friends together and doing something really, really nice together. It could be is something just as simple as getting from one of the month to the other financially in a stable, in the green rather than in the red. It could be relationship goals. It could be you're trying to get your career off the ground. You get what I'm saying? It's important that we have that end goal. If we haven't and we have those dark down days, then yeah, they're tough. But my goodness, if you haven't got that goal in mind, they're even harder. So what is it what you want to achieve? You could say success, but then again, don't be so hard on yourself because success, how do you define success? Everybody's is different. So just pick a goal. And for starters, don't make it too difficult for yourself. So pick a goal and then those down real tough days, you put up with them because it just brings you one step closer to that goal of yours. Now, I know, I know life isn't as easy as that. And my goodness, it doesn't work out like that for a lot of the times. I should know I've been there in those dark wells, which seem as though that you're never going to see the light from it. But you do. And you get up again and you smile and little by little you get through these dark times and you learn to be kind to yourself. Number one, you then start to not start beating yourself up so much in your head. And then you find little by little, day by day you're closer to your end goal. So for me, what's my end goal? So at the moment, I'm not there, but my end goal is to be top in my career, to finish all of my studying, and to be, I'd love to be married, to have a beautiful wife, a beautiful home, and start a family. Now, I know that's a huge cascade of goals, but I'm just going to pick one. This year, it was to be finished with all of my studies. Unfortunately, because of health problems, that's not going to be. So I'm going to pick a date. So I'm going to say June next year, and hopefully, all of my studies will be finished by then. Now you may think, well, that's a bit mundane. How's that going to get you through the tough, dark days? Well, okay, I'm going to be turning 30 next year. Now, for a lot of people, that would be quite daunting, but I've had an absolute blast throughout my 20s. I've had some difficult times, but I've had an absolutely amazing time. I've traveled the world a lot, but I started my 20s when I went on a really lavish holiday to Mexico. So next year, I think that's what I want to do. So I'm going to have a look and see if I can put that goal together. Now I know that's really, really extreme and I'm privileged to be in that position. And I know a lot of other people aren't and I don't want to come across as a spoiled brat, spoiled person type thing can obviously say these things. But you know what? That's going to be my main goal on the really dark down days. But on the days where I just need something to help me get me through, what I love to do is, with my parents, I love to go out for dinner. With my mum, I like to go out for dinner. With my dad, I like to go out for the day with my mum, and I like to spend time with them. I would like to reconnect with friends. There we go. I picked that one. And you know what? I'll make it happen. I will make it happen. One of those goals I'll make happen. If you hold on to a goal like that, and if you think to yourself through the dark down times, or if you had the worst day ever, you can think to yourself, you know what? I've got this arranged, or I've got that booked, or I'm going to be doing that. It helps you. 
get through those times. So in essence, each rubbish day brings you closer to your goal. Now that's just like the immediate future, but we touched on it, but let's talk about future. So for example, say for example, somebody's trying to buy their house, they may be renting a property, relationship goals, maybe trying to start a family, and there's different hurdles and things in the way. If you know what you want out of life, it somehow seems to be that little bit easier on those difficult times. Now, it's not going to cover every single scenario. It doesn't cover every single scenario I want in my life. I want to see my nan again. I want my nan back. I lost my nan. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen. But through my faith, that gives me comfort in those dark times. So, of course, it's holding on to something. It's holding on to something in this life which gets you through. So, again, about those goals knowing what you're all about in this life. So for me, I am of faith. I mean, I know what goals I want to do. I know what I want to achieve in this life. I think most of the time anyway. So for you, first of all, on those dark days, have a word with yourself. Keep talking, have a word with yourself and find out what do you want out of this life? Now, believe you me, that's not something which has just come to me. This is things which have slowly come from different life experiences, different things happening to me, different things to wake me up um, in life hypothetically. And I've come up with that's what I want out of life. Now, I think some of those I wanted from school. But however, if time progresses and life happens. Um, yeah. So it's important to have that thing. And I say that thing because I'm not quite sure what to call it at the moment. Goal or or life plan or I don't want to use words too big for that because that takes a lot of headspace. And on those dark down days, not a lot of people have got that much headspace to be dealing with these things. So it truly is me just saying to you that on those dark down days, when you eventually get through them, and you do, perhaps even if it's just as simple as treating yourself, perhaps that really darn difficult day, forget cooking dinner, order yourself in your favourite takeaway. Call that person who you've been meaning to call for a long time. It will lift that day and it will lift your spirits. And then with all blessings, you will get to enjoy another day tomorrow and it will be better. But next time in preparation for that down day, because we all have them, unfortunately, they do keep coming around. As we all know, they do make us stronger. But next time, have a goal in mind or what do you want out of life? What do you want out of the next week? What do you want out of the next month, the next year? Perhaps even write it down. I know I've done that before and it really does help when you have those low movement, those low moments. It's not going to help all the time, but it will certainly give you another tool to your armory of dealing and support and healthing your well-being because that's truly important and do you know what? this life is far too precious and far too special for you to be spending your days worrying stressing and destroying yourself i know i need to take a leave out of my own book but i'm getting better i'm getting stronger and through tools like this just talking through on my channel and talking these things out helps it really really does help again it's another tool for me to deal with how i'm feeling and something which I've been starting to concentrate on is when I have those dark days, if I have something else in mind or like a plan of what I'm going to be doing or what life means to me, what I want out of life, those dark times don't necessarily have that much of a damaging effect on me. They just make me feel really, really rubbish at the moment. What is it? What does that sound like? I hope from what I've said there that it may help you. It may not. You may think, what a load of rubbish. He's just wasted spending nearly 10 minutes of my life. Well, if you're thinking that, at least you've listened to me. And from that, thank you very much. From my heart to yours, take great care of you. Try not to stress. It will all be all right in the end. It really, really will. This life is far too precious for you to be wasting it with worrying and stressing. And I know it doesn't always seem, and it certainly isn't always as easy as that. But if you are going for a difficult time, my thoughts are with you. And if I can help, or if you'd like to leave a comment or a question down below, if you want to ask me a personal question, please do so. I'd like to help. Okay. On that one, thank you very, very much indeed for being here. Thank you for sharing that clip with me. And as I say, it really means the world that you are here watching this clip. And you know what? It's just reaching out that we all have those dark times. And sometimes if somebody else is holding a hypothetical hand out there, even if it's through the screen or on YouTube, someone can understand. Somebody knows what you're going through because I absolutely guarantee that somebody probably felt exactly like you before. There, there, I said it. Okay, thanks very much. And for the last time, Thanks for being here. And until next time, God bless and I'll see you soon. Bye now.